Okay, here is our second web page that we're going to try to take a look at. One of the important things that web pages do is they link either within a certain site to multiple pages or outside the site. So I'm going to show you today how to insert an, a link into your web page. Here's the same web page we started with. Um, I'll click somewhere so that the cursor is blinking here. And as long as wherever that cursor is, if I click on this link button up here, it will put a link in there. So what are we going to call this? Um, there's a couple ways you can go with this. You can just put, I'll put two of these links since you can see it either way. But one way is just to state the site like I like to musky fish, so musky zinc homepage. And it would be HTTP, all websites, uh, web addresses start like that, colon slash slash www dot, oops, get if I could type, I'd be dangerous. Muskies Inc. dot, and in this case, it's an ORG. So we put that in there and it looks like this. Now I'm going to put my cursor down a bit and I'm going to say, put in another link. And this is going to be, this one's going to say, Click here to uh, for a link to the uh, eAchieve website. So you might help your user out a little bit by telling them uh, that even though blue generally in web is uh, an indication of a um, a clickable a, click, a clickable place uh, to move to somewhere, uh, you might want to say click to do that. So in this case. And we click OK. Um, and we have then two links in our website. Now, I've already done this because I had to search for it a little bit. But um, to now we have a second page, so we'd want to have our title be slightly different. Our first title said uh, first web page. Now, if you go up to format it's a little off the screen which you can see but it's up along the top of the menu bars along composer at the very top and page title and properties you get a little drop down window that shows you uh, general information um, some of which will be visible some are, is not but I typed in already first web page with link so that will change the title and I'll show you that in a minute now we just have to save this save it as and I will address these 20% uh, these numbers in here that are coming into the name uh, generally speaking it's probably the best for the name of a uh, web address a web file I should say to not have any spaces in it and generally be lowercase so some of these are putting more and more spaces in um, we will fix that up in the future so now I'm going to see if uh, that was saved. Didn't quite save like I wanted it to. Open file. Keep adding on more and more of these because the names are getting bigger. And Okay, as you can see, here's the web page in Safari. And if we click on Muskie's Inc., we get the home page of the Muskie's Inc. website, which you're certainly welcome to take a look at if you'd like to. But I show you the link, and then the back button brings us back. And the eAchieve website, 
Ah, I did do it right. Okay, so now we have two web pages. Of course, I would make these pages bigger, but I'm keeping them this size so that they fit in this, the size of the um, application that I'm making the movie on. So here we have entered two different links into a web page and we saw how that works in Composer by clicking on the link uh, button and you put in the name for the link you can just have it be Muskie's Inc. homepage or you can say click here for a link to the depends on what kind of a uh, web savvy loser user that you're you that you're uh, writing your page for and again I re uh, made the um, by in Composer under format at the very bottom of that little pull down window that comes page and title properties to change the title which oops I forgot to show you that here's the web page again first web page with link so change that we change the name of the file that it's in and uh, we've uh, covered everything we're gonna do in this lesson so again have a good day